Okay, tonight we'll do a quick update on the uh, using GOIP data in the, on the command line from several months back. Um, basically, in January of 2019, MaxMind uh, stopped using the GeoLite legacy database and switched to the GeoLite 2. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go through the steps to to get everything switched over. Um, the the premise for why you would use it in your investigations is the same. So we're just going to talk about the nuts and bolts of GeoIP data in the GeoLite 2 format. So to get started, you'll need to make sure that you have um, the EPL release repository configured and also uh, you'll have to install the MaxMind or libmaxmindDB-devil. So this machine already has the um, EPL release on it, so we'll just go ahead and just straight up install the MaxMind Devil. It does not take but just a minute, and it's done. So we can. That's all we need to do from root. So we can go ahead and exit. And you can see I have a tar file with goipdata.tar.gz. I'm going to unzip that. And it already has the uh, libraries for the database and some scripts that we're going to use just to make this a little bit quicker. There will be a link on the website and the blog as well as uh, on the, uh, the description of the video on YouTube that gives you the actual locations of where to go get the uh, MaxMind downloads for Geo to GeoLite 2. And um, you'll want to update those periodically. Uh, but all it should involve is just literally getting the new files and copying them into the GOIP data directory that we're going to create. So let me go ahead and untar this file. And it's going to create the directory that we need, which is GOIP data, and it's also going to put in the uh, GeoLite2 uh, database files as well as uh, a text file and two scripts that we've written. The data to build the scripts, the uh, what you need to put in them and stuff, is on the website, so um, it's easy to find. And I may go ahead and put a link, uh, just just to get everybody started, just put this goipdata.tar.gz file up there as well. So um, we'll get into the directory. And you can see we have the three database files, two scripts, and a text file. We're going to start with uh, the ipinfo.shell script first. If you look at that, we'll go ahead and open it up in Vim. And you can see there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, basically, we're going to ask for the IP that you want to check. Uh, then we're going to read that, and then we're going to basically uh, run a couple of commands on it. We're going to use the MMDB lookup command, which was uh, what we installed with the libmaxmindDB devil. And that will allow us to get back uh, certain information, either on the city, the country, <clears throat> um, or the ASN information for the IP. Now, this new format is kind of messy compared to the other one. So we've got to do some, some uh, clean up with said and with awk to get just the fields we want, and then we restructure that down here into uh, output that we put on the screen, which gives you uh, what you were looking for from what IP, and then the data from, from the uh, d database for that IP. It's really simple, so uh, let's get out of this and we'll actually run it. So all you're going to do, since we've made that script executable by doing a change mod plus X on the file, we just have to run the file. Okay, so to test it, we're just going to type in dot slash IP info dot shell. And we enter the IP that we're looking for. And it gives us what we need. We get the IP we asked for. The information on the city, state, continent, and the AS number and the company it belongs to. <clears throat> so pretty easy. Now then we'll take a quick look at the second one for doing bulk IPs. <clears throat> the, um, the script is pretty much the same except instead of taking uh, input from the keyboard it's going to read a file. So basically while read P it's going to do something. So 
we uh, have this file called ipinfo.txt, and that's where you're going to put in your data that you want to look up, the list of IPs. It can be 2, 5, 10, 100, it doesn't matter. It's just going to sit there and churn through this database and look them all up. So uh, let me get out of this. And let's take a look <clears throat> at the uh, actual file. And you can see we've got four IPs in there. So let's go ahead and run that script and see what the output looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and see what the output looks like. Now, sometimes if there's an empty field, it will come up and give you a little bit of an error message. So when we hit this, you can see right there it got an error. And the reason you're getting that is if you look right here, the 8.8.8.8 address does not have a city associated with it in the database. It has everything else, but that's why it kind of throws an error. So what we can do to get around that is just redirect your error to dev null. Unless you don't mind, of course, seeing the error message. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but um, you know, if you're doing a whole bunch of them, it could be annoying if there's quite a few that didn't have the data and threw the error. So that's really all there is to this. It's uh, pretty simple, just a slight modification of the stuff we did before. So um, go ahead and use this in good health. Um, if you like this, go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Uh, any, any feedback is good because uh, if there's problems, I can correct it and hopefully make these better. If you do like this type of content, please subscribe because I will be releasing uh, on a pretty regular schedule now. Thanks.